A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah in this video I would like to show you how we could make assembly drawing from this full assembly model here. Previously I've shown you how I have made part modeling on most of the components here and also I've shown you how we made bottom assembly, top assembly and full assembly as shown here Inshallah in this video I would like to show you how we could make assembly, uh, assembly drawing from this full assembly model here so the first thing what we should do we go to new we click and make drawing from part assembly so now we are drawing modes so under sheet format size here what we should do we should select our template for our sheet format so in this case i will use i already made this a3 template here i click ok so that we have our template which is in a3 size format okay okay if you look on the right panel here we have a layout of from our 3d model front right top view and so on so in our case here uh, let me drag the front view here and you just bring your mouse to the top position for plan view and and to the right for your right view and here for your isometric view okay then we click ok okay the first thing that if you notice here we still have our in this uh, three views eh, including the isometric view we still have the sketches line there eh? Okay, what we should do is that we should off our sketch line. We go to view. We off our sketches so that we have a clean 3D view without the sketch line. Okay. Let me drag the isometric view to the bottom corner here. Can I make to shaded mode? If you look in our layout here, our both of our, uh, I mean all of our views here, is not in the right uh, size that we want. If I'm not mistaken, the size is half scale here. So we click one of the views here in the left plane here. In the left panel here, you, if we scroll down, we have a custom scale. Then we go for full scale. Then we click OK. So our the whole view here has been set to full scale. Okay, let me select the isometric view and we change it back to half scale. Okay, so our isometric view in uh, in half scale. Okay, if you in this assembly drawing. I will make this top view as my cutting plane and the front plane will be my section view so what I will do I will delete my front plane here so 
I could make cutting plane on my top view and my friend my front plane here will be my session view just let me drag this top view a little bit little bit upward okay under the view layout yes we have a session view if we zoom closely make sure that our cutting plane pass through the center of the circle so we simply drag drag our to make our cutting plane so we have our cutting plane here so the direction of a cutting plane is not right since we are in third angle projection make sure that we click and flip direction under the listing here i will not include x uh, put because certain component from our SME drawing like nuts screw here bolts ribs shaft or pin a spring should be excluded from being being uh, being uh, sessioning so for the time being let me put it blank here just click ok later on we can exclude it i will show you later ok now we have our section view let me zoom out a little bit let me drag my session view a little Okay, now our session view here is not aligned with the right view here so what we do we select the session view we right click edit and we go to align and alignment horizontal by origin then we select our right view as our origin so our session view is in align horizontally with the right view okay if i move slightly my right view so the front view the session view will in a line Okay, like uh, just now, like I have mentioned just now, certain components here, like screw, our bolt here, and our our uh, vertical screw here, and also the pin component here should not be hatched, should not be included in the section. So what you can do, we right click at the section view. We have properties under. We go to session scope, then we can manually select the screw so the screw is listed here. The bolt, so the bolt is listed. The vertical screw here, make sure that screw for vertical is selected, and the other thing is the pin here. So our pin is selected, and we click OK. Okay, if you look in our session view now, our component here is not in sectioning. We have our screw there. We have our bolt. We have our screw is not in sectioning. 
and also our pin component is not in sectioning right and we click ok Okay, the next thing we should do, we should include our part list or BOM. So under annotation here, we have tables. We click at table, we have bill of material. So the left panel here, select a drawing view to specify your BOM. So we simply select the front view or the right view. So we have a list down here. So make sure that the BOM type is with parts only is selected if you select the top level only so it will not show all the component this here you only show the top assembly and bottom assembly so make sure we select on parts only and we um, and uh, we just left all the other thing by default then we click OK now we have our BOM if we zoom into this uh, bill of material so we have the column item number the item number is automatically list down here we have component item number one is our uh, the order of we the order of our component here since uh, in my assembly I make that the bottom subtracted component as my base component so it will listed as my uh, the main our main component so in this video I try to make short we, actually we can reorder our list of a component in this BOM so just let me reduce the column here it's similar like Microsoft Excel you can simply drag it so part number is our part names so let me reduce the column of this description in our this project in our case let's replace the description here by material the quantity let me reduce the column width and when you right click here you can insert column to the right just click just click at this column and at this cell and rename it our drawing number right now we have our the drawing number here for you guys to put your drawing number in order for your set of your working drawing since in our title block at the bottom here we have drawing number we have drawing number here so I hope you guys could uh, in your component drawing you have a reference number drawing number you put the drawing number in order here as listed in this BOM okay after we have done the BOM here so I didn't put any material just to make short for this video so you can you guys can put your material plastic PVC ABS or anything else in this uh, BOM so we just move this BOM and snap it to the upper right corner here now we have done our bill of material yeah, Alhamdulillah so inshallah I will see you guys shortly in the next video session for how we put the uh, balloons balloons in the um, this assembly drawing 
Thank you very much for watching this, this video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.